postless hip arthroscopy setup with a striker guardian table. These are our disclosures. Patient leg support attachment is kept in place so that the patient can aid in positioning while awake. It is important to ensure that the patient's skin directly contacts the pad with no gown or drape in between the patient and the traction pad. The patient is distal enough that the ASIS is at the distalmost aspect of the half circle cutout in the traction pad. The bed is set to 3 degrees of Trendelenburg positioning. The feet are placed into the padded Velcro boot liner. Several foot positioning tips are vital to prevent foot slippage. The operative foot and boot liner are wrapped with coban from the toes to the junction of the boot liner and proximal calf to prevent internal slippage within the liner. Next, the heel and foot are placed in a plastic tensioning boot. The heel must be placed deep within the Velcro boot. The non-operative leg is placed into the padded boot and then directly into the traction boot, ensuring placement of the padded heel deep into the calcaneal recess of the traction boot. To assist with getting the heel deep within the traction boot, the knee is flexed to relax the tricep surae. The operative leg is placed in the traction boot and tightened to maximum tightness while pinching the dial with only the pinky and the thumb. The support table is removed from the bed and the boots placed within the traction arms until they click into place. The patient's arms are positioned folded onto the chest. A blanket is first placed on the patient's chest with the arm with a blood pressure cuff placed first. The first arm is padded with an egg crate cushion. Then an additional blanket is placed on top of the arm with the IV arm placed over the pad. The IV is then checked for continued infusion. A blanket is placed over both arms and secured into position with circumferential coban. Patient's gown is then flipped up over the patient's arms and coban once again used to secure the arms. Safety straps are then applied. The iliac crest is then palpated to ensure that the operative site is still exposed. The height of the bed is then set to the surgeon's preference. To protect the equipment, the operative extremity is draped with a 1015 drape under the leg and a 1010 drape proximal to the iliac crest. Initial fluoroscopic preoperative images are then obtained. An AP image is first obtained, followed by a 15 degrees angled toward the feet and 15 degrees rolled back towards the x ray tech. The hip is then imaged in neutral rotation and extension and 30 degrees of internal and then 30 degrees of external rotation. The hip is then flexed to approximately 50 degrees and images are obtained in neutral rotation, 40 degrees and then 60 degrees of external rotation. The operative field is then prepped and draped. A shower curtain is applied and a bar drape provided to protect anesthesia from the operative field. The striker hip check monitor is then draped. The arthroscopic tools and tower are assembled. Bony landmarks are once again palpated and marked including the ASIS, iliofemoral line, and greater trochanter. The arthroscopic portals are then provisionally marked. The rotation of the operative extremity is unlocked to ensure safe dislocation of the hip. Approximately 100 pounds of traction is applied to dislocate the hip. It is necessary to provide counter-traction to the pelvis during the dynamic phase of the hip dislocation. The foot is internally rotated approximately 30 degrees and secured. At this point, the patient is prepared for the procedure.